Following our stay in North Croatia, we headed towards the south of the country. Initially, we were only planning to spend a couple of weeks here. However, we were soon overwhelmed by the beautiful landscape and amazing views everywhere we went, and we decided to extend our trip. Central Croatia seemed to have it all. Spectacular waterfalls, endless panoramic views, vivid sunsets and sunrises, hidden beaches where we were the only visitors, dramatic cliffs and thousands of tiny islands scattered across the sea. If you are new to the channel, please give us thumbs up, comment and subscribe. We are Lu and Syl and this is our video of Central Croatia. Welcome to the south-ish of Croatia. Where are we today, Sylvia? Today we are at uh, Zrmanja Canyon, which um, is just north of uh, Zadar. We had a lovely park spot up here. Uh, the road wasn't the best, but it's amazing. The views are very spectacular, aren't they, Louis? Yeah, you can find this spot on park for now. You can see us there, hopefully. Still haven't replaced the GoPro, so there's no screen at the front. <laughs> but it's up there somewhere. And this is the canyon. Move out of the way and don't push me. Wee. That's the canyon. I think it is absolutely spot on. One of the better views we've ever seen. Yeah, I don't even know if I've seen a canyon before, have you? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, kind of. got a couple more stops today. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick whip round here and get going. After exploring the area and taking a lot of drone footage, we got back on the road and headed towards the ferry to Dugi Otok. She loves me. Yeah. You love me. And I, I, I'm the crazy dog lady. All me, yeah. I'm not a lady, I'm a crazy dog man. No, I only like Lola. Lola. Dog. She's the best. Just so you know, this place. I might have wanted Look all three dogs, but I remember getting Lola and I drove with her on my lap. She was no bigger than what her head is now. <laughs> and she was such a cutie pie, was, wasn't you? She, she loved you. After a couple of hours on the ferry, we arrived on the island. Look at this glorious day. Beautiful views, lovely park, car park, and amazing surprise from our dog. What happened, Louis? Well, I was just bigging her up and she decided to go and roll in some shit. <laughs> I don't know why she does that. If anyone knows, please let me know. Yeah, so that's it. How about you That's get... a good day for us. Sylvia, get the ball and throw it in there and she'll follow it in and she'll get really wet. Look at him, not just a pretty face, is he? Dugiotok is one of the largest islands on the Adriatic Sea. The place is known for its national parks, wildlife and beautiful views. You can even go scuba diving here. So we have arrived to the Telesia National Park. It looks absolutely spectacular as I'm sure you can see by the drone footage. Lola's nice and fresh now. So we're going to get ready and head towards a huge saltwater lake and I think there's a beach here and cliffs and pretty much it's a nature's nature lover's paradise I would say. So looking forward to this one and it's my birthday, 25 today. The walk from the car park was picturesque and refreshing. The dramatic cliffs with the highest point of 160 meters were a perfect spot to enjoy the amazing landscape. So cool, so cool. 
they even have a little donkey sanctuary here that just scared the living bejeebas out of Sylvia. Look! I'm not going to lie, before they made a right <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, look at the beauties. Hello. Hello. They're beautiful, aren't they? Bye, my donkeys. Bye. After a quick stop at the saltwater lake, we were keen to get to the beach to enjoy the sun. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gonna dry my towel also, you know, it's my new cape. Supergirl! Da -da -da! Da -da -da! And we've made it! It was about 20 minutes, Sylvia did nothing but whinge. Yay! So hard! Do you believe that? Do you believe that I was yeah. whinging on a track? Yeah. yeah. Look at that sweat! Look at that sweat! <laughs> yeah. No. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be asking today because it's his birthday. So, yeah, I'm 25 yeah. today. Um, still got my prime years ahead of me. But anyway, <laughs> this is the first sandy beach we've seen. And it looks amazing! It looks beautiful and the water looks awesome! Look at that! Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. That is genuinely, hand on heart, ice cold, isn't it? Ah, oh, rat! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Just jump in! Well, that's the water. Told you it's clear. It's a beauty. No one here, complete silence. I love it. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Not cold at all. It is cold, but as Sylvia always says, beggars can't be choosers. It's not that bad, to be honest. I might not be able to feel my feet anymore, but it's, it's fine. It's all worth it. <laughs> Just so we can get. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise you was recording. I think it is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I think it's. Uh, I think it's really good. <laughs> no, keep an eye on the road, please. I think it is splendid, Sylvia. What do you think? I think it's one of my favourite places in Croatia. That's Maybe surprising. Maybe because uh, it's the first sunny day we've had in the last few days, but it is really pretty. Everywhere you look is just nice and very peaceful, no people. You can still see animals and a bit of wildlife, which is cool. Yeah, really enjoyed today. I hope you had a lovely birthday, my honey plume. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, I bet it's nice to have a good birthday, isn't it, Louis? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, see you soon. So today we are going to take the kayak out because it's clearish and go and explore some of these little islands. Looks super. Just like yesterday, it's going to be a good day. And we're on the lake, see whatever it is. Go on, Sel. That's why Louis is recording because he's a lazy little boom. And uh, she always makes it to the heart. It's always me doing the heart. Right, always. she's drunk again, that's why she's stuttering. Let's get on the go! I wasn't drunk. Louis is just a fat, bald idiot. We've made it. There's the kayak, and the donkeys have all come to say hello. Beauties, aren't they? They are. One just tried to use my arm. <sighs> So we say goodbye to the donkeys and we're heading up to the top of our island. There's something else on here. I think it's a deer, but it, I, I'm not it's sure. A deer. 
turns out it was a deer, but we couldn't get any footage of it. We did, however, made it to the peak and the views were breathtaking. So we had a little kayak trip and this is what we come back to. Like, it literally happens every time, I kid you not. Look, I've used dogs. And Louis' dirty boxers, obviously. What's up? So we're on the way to the port to take a ferry first thing in the morning, seven o'clock. That's right. And this is our last sunset driving. It's beautiful, isn't it, Sylvia? Show them, Sylvia. Pretty cool. Yeah, it actually doesn't show you how good it is, but all I can see is just a ball of fire dropping into the water. It looks pretty spectacular. Well, we actually made it through the last ferry of the day and headed back towards the mainland. We are on mainland Croatia now. The ferry was only like an hour. And we're at a place called Vranska Jezera. It's a big lake. And this is the views. Beautiful sunset we've just seen. And look at that! All those little islands. That, my friends, is where we've just been on that Dugia Tok. So that's the Kornati National Park, apparently. And this big thing here is the lake. So today, I think we'll do a little bit of a tour around here and then we're going to go to my favourite thing to do. Some waterfalls. Such a beautiful view. Now we're heading towards the Kirka National Park to see some more waterfalls. So we'll see you there. After a short drive, we arrived at the lesser known entrance of Kirka National Park and walked the two mile trek. Not sure if you can hear us because the waterfall is so loud. And what does that mean? It's gonna be massive! It's amazing! Seriously, <laughs> I'm having a orgasm now. This is me! Hold it. It's absolutely humongous, as I'm sure you can imagine. Look at that! It's massive! It's an absolute beauty! Mental, isn't it? I love Klisnica, I absolutely love it because I thought it was like the token Elfian place but this is just nature at its finest isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing! Yeah that's that's better than the Plitvike. If you haven't seen our North Croatia video definitely check that out but I would say this one is much better. Yeah, and that's the first one only. Yeah, yeah. first of a few. Kerka National Park actually covers 142 square kilometers. Obviously, the waterfalls are its main attractions, with Skrandiski Book being the most famous. Seriously, I didn't realize that I was going out with a 10 year old. What you doing, Louis? Hmm. <laughs> Seriously, if anyone's single, I'm looking for a new boyfriend. Well worth the visit here, but security, nightmare. Honestly, they moan about everything. <laughs> wow. She's a beauty, isn't she? A 
as you can see, Rocky is not a fan of water. He was clearly impressed with this water. If you bring your staff at your bull terrier, you might have to carry him with your little whim. It's so good! So good! Awesome. Back museums around here to show you the mills and how they were used in the 60s. And that one was used to wash clothes made out of wool. I only know that because it says it on that sign right there. And we have finished the walk. It's, I would say, about an hour round trip if you want to see all the waterfalls and the windmills and everything else that looks very pretty. I loved it. I'm very, very happy we came here. What did you think, Louis? It's all right. It's just a waterfall. It's in once in a million. I swear to God, I'm going to be hearing about this waterfall now for the, probably the rest of the Croatian trip. It was awesome! <laughs> I loved it. The walk that you've seen us doing in the footage is all the way around it. Highly recommend the visit. And I would say, if I was being honest, much better than Flip Vika. Oh, I thought you were going to say park at the car park and don't do the three and a half yeah. kilometers walk to it. <laughs> that trip that we said at the start, I won't bother with that. that it that... is still nice. If you have dogs, it's nice with dogs. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely better than Flip Vika in my opinion. Don't need to offend anyone. Flip Vika's cool if you was in the north, but if you had the money and you had to do either, I would do this one. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so as well. It feels more with nature and, you know. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah. You're right in them. So we're going to head back to the van now and we'll probably catch you tomorrow. See you later. After a quick drive up to a dragon's eye by Dinara, the largest peak of Croatia, we headed back to the coast. <laughs> That's what Rocky does every time I get the camera. I hate him. Anyone who has a staffy will know that noise very, very well. Seriously, for people who are scared of them, like this is what they like. They don't bark, they don't bite, they just cry. Massive baby, isn't he? Seriously. Anyway. Anyway, we've arrived to the canyon. We're just going to do a quick walk up to a waterfall. So. Sylvia left me, she said you're an idiot. Don't go to the waterfall, you can't get there. I've made my own path, but I've come to like a rock climbing bit, so wish me luck. When you're big time like me, you've got full-time videographer following you around. Not done this on my own at all. Don't even know who put this camera there. All right, all done here now. Gonna head back down to the van. Hope oh, to the big man up there, I don't fall and die. How am I doing this? I'm like 32 years old. Look at the drop. Oh! Scared would be an understatement. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Don't recommend that. Just look at it from the car park like so. Oh. See you at the next stop. So we've arrived en route to the castle, which is up there somewhere. So yes, that means another trek. I managed to get the van right up here though. Sylvia wasn't happy, the road was a bit sketchy and she just moaned all the way. But I think if we can cut out half the journey with the van, jobs are good. So we'll see you up there. Oh, 
<laughs> that's the view so far. Satnav says that's a four minute walk to that up there. No chance. Massive application that Sylvia has downloaded and told Louis to download 800 pounds hours ago. Says it's about 40 minutes walk up there. Yes. I wasn't having a wee. I was changing my pants, by the way. So Google, you've missed off a four again. Yeah, but also good for strength. Useless, four minutes. You know, I've learned that because we've done loads of them, but Louis is so stubborn, he will still follow Google. Fifteen minutes. Thank the Lord. Oh. And then I do think it's going to be a super view from up there. Hopefully, the wind holds off and I can get the drone out for you because it looks pretty good. The view over Ole Miss. Stavingrad Castle is a 15th century fortress built 262 meters above sea level. I'm going up. I won't be saying any more because the wind will be awful. But there we go. The purpose of the build was to provide a refuge to local people in event of an attack. Now it's one of the main viewpoints for the city of Omis. The place was extremely windy, so we couldn't get our drone out, but the views were too good to miss out. For me, it was also yet another opportunity to scare Louis to death, which unfortunately didn't work. So this is the last viewing point and we're going to go and have a couple of beach days. Oh no, look, he's getting to give you on. <laughs> They're going to have a couple of beach days, what do you reckon? Yeah, weather's supposed to be very nice for the next... 16 degrees! And if we find a nice cove, hopefully there won't be no wind and we can get some tan. Because we're looking pretty bloody pale. Tired from the hike, we headed down towards the beaches. Not gonna lie, I am not a fan of the bloody winding roads, but the view is pretty spectacular. Oh, this is a terrible, terrible turn. Sure, man, under your window there, so. So we have made it down to the beach. I think it's called Morsky Villa, something like that anyway. And it's really nice. And we've been talking and we've decided to stay on and finish the last leg of Croatia over the next couple of weeks. It's just too nice to miss some of the spots, isn't it? Yeah, seriously, the place is so beautiful. I know we've said it like hundreds of times, but literally everywhere we go, they are just amazing views or beaches or waterfalls or canyons everything so um we decided to do three films instead of two uh, purely because making a two hours movie i think might be a little bit too much of us for you guys <laughs> even though you obviously love us so much yeah so <laughs> yeah we're gonna call it here if you enjoy the video please give us thumbs up comment and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to grow and continue to travel hopefully for well Forever, if possible. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Such a noomies. Bye. <laughs>